Hi gamers, there are so many great video games out there and it can be hard to figure out which ones are the best when you have to play them all. Don't worry, I'm here to help you find the latest, greatest and the most memorable games over the years. Here are the top 25 best roguelike or roguelike games of all time in 2023. Without further ado, let's get started. Super Auto Pets is a super casual auto battler where players assemble teams of units and strategically place them to maximize their abilities. It is a free-to-play game where you can build a team of cute pets with unique abilities. You can set your strategy and battle against other players at your own pace. The game offers quick runs of no more than 10 minutes, making it ideal for busy individuals or those looking for short gaming sessions. Children of Morta is a typical roguelike dungeon where players kill monsters, find relics, and upgrade characters. You lead the Bergson family with all its faults and virtues against future corruption. As you level up, you develop not only individual characters, but also the whole family. It is a unique combination of action-adventure RPGs, roguelike, and hack-and-slash games. Amber Knights is an action roguelike game for 1 to 4 players where you play as legendary knights against the mad sorcerer Praxis and his hordes of fiends. You can wield weapons and skills, build synergies with game changing relics, and free the universe from Praxis corruption. It emphasizes fluid hack and slash combat, fast movement, and powerful attack spells. It is a fantastic local co-op game to play with friends and has a stunning art design. Neon Abyss is a run and gun video game with rock-like elements. The game follows members of the Grim Squad as they descend into the abyss, a series of procedurally generated levels to hound down powerful entities known as the New Gods. With unlimited item synergies and a unique dungeon progression system, every run enriches the experience and every choice changes the rules. Players can use different weapons and special abilities to fight the enemies in each level. Curse of the Dead Gods is a skill-based stroke-like action adventure game set in a dark temple. You will navigate through endless rooms and corridors, facing constant danger at every turn. To survive, you can use weapons such as swords, spears, arrows, and guns to defeat your enemies. However, your greatest allies on this journey will be light and fire which will help you refill and defeat the hidden threats lurking in the shadows. Loop Hero is a game where you change the world by placing cards instead of directly controlling a character. It is an endless RPG with rock-like and deck-building elements. You must survive and rebuild your world after an evil leads has destroyed reality. It is a game that combines nostalgia and innovation with a pixel art style and dynamic soundtrack. <laughs> Riven's Watch is a roguelike action co-op game that can be played up to four players. The game takes place in Reverie, a world based on ancient folktales and legends. The game challenges you to banish the nightmare that invades and corrupt your realm, using unique hero abilities inspired by characters from the stories. The game offers high replay value with randomly generated maps, dynamic gameplay, different heroes, various upgrades, and items. 
In typical roguelike fashion, each run is an attempt at defeating the horde of nightmares. Crab Champions is a multiplayer game where you control a crab and compete against other players in various challenges and battles. It is a fast-paced shooter with roguelike elements where you travel around exotic island defeating enemies and collecting loot. You can play solo or with up to three other players to create a powerful build and unlock achievements. Playing with your friends make this game more fun. Trust me. Wizard of Legion is a fast-paced roguelike game in which players take on the role of a wizard attempting to complete the Chaos Trials. With over a hundred spells and relics to choose from, players can create their own unique fighting style. Players can team up with friends in local co-op to take on the powerful council members who guard the secrets of the dungeon. The game emphasizes dynamic, fluid magical combat with quick movement and spell chaining. Have a nice dad is a super cool 2D action roguelike where you actually play as dad who desperately needs a break from work. The game features smooth and responsive combat with a variety of techniques to master, including skites, hammers, kunai, rocket launchers, and magic spells. The game also features dark and dry workplace humor, face the challenge of unforgiving battles and repetitive levels as you try to unlock items and upgrades that can help you progress. School the Hero Slayer is a fun retro style game where you control a skeleton who can switch heads with various monsters to gain their powers. It has fast-paced 2D platforming and combat, offering a lot of different options for gameplay and replay value. The game has a funny and charming story that turns the usual hero versus villain concept on its head. If you like games like Dead Cells or Hades, then you will for sure like this game. Brotato is a rock-like action shooter game where you play as a potato we can wield up to 6 weapons and 5 aliens. You can customize your build with different potato heads, weapons, items, and traits. The game has simple controls, charming graphics, and humorous sound effects. If you like vampire survivors and roguelikes for a quick and casual game to play, you must try this one. Binding of Isaac is a roguelike game where you play as Isaac, a boy on the run from his mother's attempt to kill him. You explore a randomly generated basement full of enemies, items, and secrets. The game has a dark and twisted style with references to religion and other games. It's a game that will challenge you, surprise you, and entertain you. Soulstone Survivors is a roguelike action game where players slay enemies and face powerful bosses while acquiring skills and upgrading their characters. With deep RPG mechanics and roguelike elements, the game offers a condensed but still immersive action RPG experience. Players can explore a wide variety of active skills, unlock and play multiple characters, and customize their gameplay with passive skills and runes. This game is similar to Vampire Survivors, but with better graphics. Spelunky 2 is a challenging lunar platformer where you play as Anna, the doctor of the original Spelunky hero. You will embark on a quest to find your missing parents by exploring randomly generated caves filled with traps, enemies, and treasures. With its rock-like elements, 
Every run is a unique and that is constant. Whether playing alone or with friends online, Spelunky 2 offers a thrilling and endlessly replayable adventure that will test your skill and your creativity. Enter the Dungeon is a classic game that focuses on core gameplay elements like dodging bullets and shooting enemies which provide consistent joy and challenge. The game offers convenient mechanics such as money rewards and easy teleportation while fair deaths and correct skill growth. With fast content, unlockable characters, and charming pixel art, Enter the Dungeon provides a captivating and enjoyable experience for roguelike and bullet hell fans. The game is challenging, fast-paced, and full of secrets and surprise. Vampire Survivors is a gothic horror casual game with roguelite elements. You play as one of the characters who can wield different weapons and use various power-ups, pick-ups, relics, and arcana to fight against hordes of monsters. Your goal is to survive as long as you can until dawn or death. Vampire Survivors is a time survival game with minimalistic gameplay and pixel art graphics. Returnal is a game where you play as a space lady who keeps dying and coming back to life on a strange planet. It's a third-person action adventure game that straddles the line between Metroidvania and roguelike with probably the smoothest gameplay in the genre. You shoot a lot of aliens and dodge a lot of bullets while the planet changes every time you die. The graphics of the game are great and the features of the PC are used very well. Discovered a strange device that is already active. <laughs> Gunfire Reborn is a game that combines FPS, roguelite, and RPG elements. You can play as different heroes with unique abilities and explore randomized levels with various weapons and items. You can also team up with up to three other players for co-op mode. Gunfire Reborn keeps the gameplay fresh and exciting every time. Rigs of Rain 2 is an intense shooter roguelike game with fast-paced action, diverse perks, and hidden secrets. Players face increasing difficulty as they battle hordes of enemies and bosses while collecting perks to enhance their character. Unlike other roguelikes, stacking multiple perks in Rigs of Rain 2 creates unique and powerful combinations. The game's solid shooting mechanics, variety of characters, and engaging combat. This game is more fun if you play co-op with your friends. Darkest Dungeon 2 is an incredibly challenging game that pushes players to their limits. Strategic thinking and experimentation with heroic combinations are essential in combat. The new affinity system adds complexity by affecting heroes, relationships, and combat abilities. Despite its flaws, Darkest Dungeon 2 offers dedicated players a deeply satisfying and rewarding experience. Can blaze radiant once again. Rogue Legacy 2 is a fast-paced game that mixes challenging puzzles, character development, and a special family legacy feature. In the game, you control a hero exploring a castle filled with monsters and treasures. When your character dies, their children inherit their belongings, skills, and class along with special traits. You can upgrade your ancestors, items, and unlock new characters' classes, which will make your future generation stronger and more capable in the game. Dead Cells is a highly enjoyable 2D side-scrolling action platformer. 
that draws inspiration from games like Dark Souls and Bloodborne. It features rebindable controls, satisfying combat mechanics, and enemies with clear stealth to make damage feel fair. The game has platforming features and a map filled with surprise and loot. Although the aesthetic and sound design are engaging, there might be more enemy variety. The inclusion of roguelite mechanics such as unlocking items and upgrades between runs adds replayability. Slay the Spire is an addictive deck-building roguelike where you climb a tower filled with enemies, bosses, and events. With four character options, you start with a basic deck and earn new cards as rewards. Special relics and helpful potions add you in battle. Each card requires energy to play, and the randomized layout of the tower requires strategic adjustment. The game offers both single-player and competitive daily climb modes to compare your scores with other players. Hades is a popular dungeon crawler game where you play as the son of Hades on a mission to escape the underworld and reach Mount Olympus. It's a hack and slash adventure with randomly generated rooms, challenging enemies, and epic boss battles. The game also has a rich story and dialogue where you learn more about the characters and the world as you play. It's one of the few games where the fact that it will keep changing and growing just makes you want to play it more. Okay everyone, what do you think of this list? In my opinion, this is a list of the best roguelike games of all time this year. Maybe some of you agree and some of you disagree, and that's okay because everyone has their own opinion. Sorry for the English language and sound quality, hope you enjoy the video. If you like this video, please subscribe to this channel to support me. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.